Welcome to Happy Monday on Creating Happiness. I'm Steph and this is Sheila. Hello. Hi. So today we've got a little episode about finding calm in chaos. Ah, <gasps> yes. Right? It's a world filled with constant change and uncertainty. And with all these things that are, that are happening in the war, we had, we can't say the word, but the vid word. <laughs> <laughs> And we we had gas prices and fuel uncertainty mm-hmm. and food shortages. Loads of things have happened. And we've got quite a very cold spell here in the UK mm. at the moment. So everyone's worried about their heating bills and trying to keep their house warm, keep themselves warm. Yeah. Um, I've heard of people not putting their heating on and having layers and layers of mm. blankets around them trying mm. to keep warm because mm. they're fearful to put the heating on. Yeah. Mm. So it's... A constant, it kind of puts most people or a lot of us in fear, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly builds that stress and anxiety, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. So we thought, let's let's do an episode on how to find calmness in, in all this chaos. Yes. Let's find a safe space for us to move away just for a few moments and just relax. Mm. That <laughs> sounds good already, doesn't it? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And you know, this doesn't just apply to chaos in the world, even if you are being challenged at work or in your home Mm. or with your parents, wherever Mm. you're at in your life, Mm. you know. It could even be a DIY situation, couldn't it? Mm. Something won't work, won't fix properly. You're Uh trying to fix something and it's, you can't get the screwdriver in and... (sighs) We, yes, we get and so tense and ang- anxious about things. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. And, you know, we run really busy lives. So mm-hmm. often we might feel as though our lives are chaos because we've got a thousand things going, cooking yes. and cleaning and doing work and you name it. The child crying, you know. Yeah. But it's interesting because when we can relax out of that chaos for just a moment, mm. everything sort of settles down the chaos yes. doesn't seem so chaotic and we have a we have a calmer mindset a calmer approach to whatever the problem mm. is and you know what it's your right to take a few moments out whatever is going on mm. so i'll tell you this personal story a very brief one but so thinking about manifestation mm-hmm. i was doing some reading and some work on it just to give you some context as to why i'm talking about it And this book said, there is never, ever any time, there is never, ever any reason to rush. Mm. So it gave this exercise. If you feel or find yourself rushing, stop immediately and count to 10. Mm. (laughs) So I started doing this when I found myself rushing to get to work. Mm -hmm. A very challenging thing to do. Mm. But it just proved to me that whatever chaos is going on in my life, I can just take a moment, Mm. 10 seconds, Mm. to step back. Mm. Yeah, and it reminds me of of something that I do, which is nothing to do with that. But, you know, one of the things that really causes me a chaotic thought pattern is if I lose something. Mm. I've got a piece of paper somewhere. I I know I've got this piece of paper. I might have some workshop notes written on it. I Uh know it's somewhere and I can't find it. (laughs) (laughs) And I can get really screwed up and anxious about that but I've learned never to go and look for it oh yes (laughs) never look for it I just sit down in a chair and quieten myself calm myself down and let it come to me in my mind Mm. and then I can get up go straight to that drawer there it is yep that's awesome Ah. (laughs) <laughs> Wonderful. So you're right. We ha- we have got that right to yes. s- just take a moment. And the and the little exercise that we're going to give you is literally a few seconds, mm-hmm. and it will just tip the balance of that chaos into calmness. Yes, and you can do it whatever you're doing. If you're driving, if you're walking, if you are working, working, reading, especially cooking. if you're at the computer. Yes, especially if you're at the mm. computer. Mm-hmm. So would so you like what to- is it? Oh, okay. I'll go for it. (laughs) So just roll your shoulders a couple of times backwards. I'm going to do it with you. Yes. And go right up to your ears. Exactly. And then let them drop right at the back. And when you go back, bring your shoulder blades together. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Big circles. Big circles. And make sure that when you go towards the back, 
drop your shoulders mm. as a symbol of releasing any tension. Right. And then do the same going forwards. So bring your shoulders together in the front, almost like you're trying to get your shoulders to touch themselves in front of your in front of your eyes. Oh, it feels so good. Doesn't it? Because it gives you a nice back stretch, doesn't it? Where we hold a lot of tension in yes. between our shoulder blades around the base of our neck, mm. upper back. And that really, really relaxes you, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. It's so good, isn't it? It's really good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is a very good exercise and practice to, to do whatever is going on. And remember, you can ha- you have the right to take two or three seconds. Yes, we're not talking about it is. exactly <laughs> out of that chaos. Don't get wrapped up in the chaos because you can't. Often, it, there are things going on in our lives that we have no control over. Mm. We have no control over what's happening in other countries. We have no control over the, the heating bills and so on. There's lots of things we don't have control over. It's pointless. To even try. To even try. <laughs> but, but, but we do try. And so and that causes the chaos. Yeah. But we can just change that essence of anxiety and chaotic mental thinking mm. in a couple of nanoseconds. Woo! Ugh, That's amazing. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. So we've come to the end of today's episode, but we have a newsletter that's filled with tips like this mm-hmm. and we release it every month it's free and exclusive to those who sub- who subscribe so all you need to do is go on our website on our homepage there is a big button to the top left that says join our newsletter and yeah just we join hope the tribe. to see you there yes yeah. in the meantime thank you very much for listening and have a happy and carefree day mm-hmm.